What's up machine freaks? What's up crew? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Please excuse the noises in the shop. The shop is extremely loud and there's always something going on. But anyways, we're, we're gonna do something cool. To the Duramax, of course. She deserves it. She's a good machine most of the time. A company by the name of Oxbeam has come up to me and said, hey, do you wanna install some light bars on your truck? And I said, sure, of course. So they sponsored today's video. And because of that, not only are you guys going to be entertained, but the Duramax is gonna get some upgrades. It's a win-win, baby. So they sent us two 12-inch Oxbeam light bars. I have one in my hand. This package comes with some wiring, more wiring, a remote control, and a few other things that we'll get to later on in the video. Now, they originally asked me how many light bars I wanted and like what sizes I wanted, and, I, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, really know where to put them on the Duramax. And I started looking at the grill, and as you guys can see, there's two, there's two like openings right here. And instead of putting the light bars on the outside, I'm actually going to work them inside the bumper. I think it'll look extremely sophisticated because you won't see like all of the light bar, you'll just see like the light. And these light bars actually change colors and actually I'm not exactly sure what they do, but I know they're more sophisticated than the average light bar. So I think the, the first step would be to just remove the entire bumper so that we can weld up some sort of framework. And then once we get the framework taken care of, then we can go ahead and start wiring. I never said this job was easy. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Dalton, why are you making your truck look like this again? If you guys can remember, I actually had to do the exact same thing when I had to fix my bumper mount on this truck. The bumper mount is, is solid, it's not going anywhere. Here's the bumper right here. Before something looks pretty, it usually has to be ugly first. So that's why we're doing this now. But the main reason why I took the bumper off is now I can work right here and not have to worry about going under my truck, trying to fit things into certain places. This, I can just bam, bam, weld things, fabricate things, put it back on, do some wiring. Here is the second package, which holds our second light bar. Since there are two holes in the bumper, we're going to put two lights in there. The reason why I'm using a key and not a knife is because I didn't bring my knife with me. I didn't bring my tools with me. I just brought this and hoped that this place would hold what I needed it to hold. So far it's doing good. I don't know where to look for a knife though. Number two. So I'm working on the first light bar right now and I showed you guys that it came with some wiring and it actually comes with, each light bar comes with its own box here and uh, this box has like a, a web address that you can go ahead and download an app and I've done that and the, and the app is right here and I can actually control the light bar from my phone. So if you look at the light bar right now, it is uh, like light blue, I can um, like click red it turns red, and then I can turn the, the brightness up, and then I can also see if it, I can do that. I can make it flicker, and then I can change the color. So, of course, my camera's not gonna pick it up very well, but what I can do is, since I have the siren in my truck, and since I'm putting two light bars in, I can put one red and one blue and have my siren on. Of course, I won't do this on the road and like impersonate a police officer, but just the fact that I can do it is kind of neat. Like most, I'd, I've never heard of a light bar that's ever changed colors besides these guys. The, uh, the app is called B-L-E-D-I-M, so bleed them maybe, but it's, it's, it's really neat. Let's, let's see what else we can find out. So let's click on, let's click on this one. So that's making it all different colors. This one, making it all different colors. And then we can do like, um, now it fades, kind of like some fiber optics. But I like the fact 
since we got the siren, the red and the blue, and then we flicker them, that's gonna be sweet. So what I'm hoping to accomplish here is I'm hoping that these two boxes come up as two different devices when I open the app. So I can say, okay, the left one does this and the right one does this. But in order to accomplish that, I have to wire them both up. And, then, and instead of using all of the wires, I'm trying to you know make it so it's a little less of a mess. So I'm cutting things off that I don't need. So for example, I'm going to wire this one directly to this wire. And then we'll only have one wire that supplies these two boxes. I'm hoping this makes sense to you guys. But basically, instead of running this wire and this wire, I'm just cutting out one and tying the two together so that we don't have wires just all over inside the hood. But I'm not sure because I have no idea how this app is going to work. But if it does work, it's going to be fantastic. And if it doesn't work, then we might have to do a little bit more wiring. I just, I just want to point out that if this does work the way I'm doing it, this app is pretty cool. I have this piece of steel here that's been fabricated to fit my bumper so that it hangs on to both the light bars. It's got the holes in it. It's already pre-bent. Everything's all set. Here's our one supply. It goes into the two boxes. I went ahead and put some electrical tape on there. So now it looks like one wire. So we finished up splicing everything together, right? Is that the proper terminology? We also uh, ran one supply because these uh, light bars have two wires actually going to them. So a total of four. One supply there, one supply there. We have the app open right here. So as you can see, that light bar is red. This light bar is blue, and I can change that. I can make that red too. And then I can, you know, make it flash. And hit the other one. And let's say I want to make that one blue. Bam. So now it's all set. All I have to do is put the wires in a nice organized fashion, put my bumper back on, and we're ready to hit the streets. It's the next day. We ran out of time yesterday, so I didn't actually show you guys the light bars on the bumper. But this is how they turned out. As you can see, they're right in those nooks, and, and it fits so perfectly. Like, we put that bumper on, and everything just fit right. The wiring was great. But I just want to explain more about the light bars and, and the wiring and stuff. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just pulling up the app. You guys saw me, like, cut a lot of wires and splice new wires and stuff like that. When you buy just one light bar, you won't have to worry about that. Everything's all ready to go. Like all you gotta do is plug things together, just like plugging a wire into the wall. So it's really, really simple. I just made it more complicated because I wanted two light bars working and doing two different things. I'm like really excited about this for some reason. Like this is way cooler than the average light bar. So to begin with, there's an on and off switch. So if somebody gets your phone and wants to start screwing with your vehicle, if they can't get inside your vehicle and turn the switch on, then you won't have to worry about anything. So the switch is on. And now I can start playing. So I can grab this light bar, push OK, and I can push the red button. Turns red, and this is a cool button I found. This one right here, number 13. See what that does? That looks familiar, right? Like police officers and things like that. And I can grab this one, do the same thing. And there they go. And what I can do is I can time, time them differently. You see what I'm saying? So if you guys are interested in these light bars, the link will be in the description. It was really fun installing them and they're actually way cooler than I thought they were. For some reason, these things like grind my gears, they like get me going. So I wanna thank Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to smash the hell out of the like button. Everything will be in the description. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Oh,